In this part, I would like to introduce you to different parts of MATLAB and we're going to use them very much on a daily basis as we progress through the course. I begin by the biggest part in the middle, which this part is called the command window. It's the place that we tell MATLAB what we're gonna do and then get the results. So it's where we communicate with the program and we introduce our inputs to the MATLAB. And then on the other hand, the MATLAB will do the calculations and reflects back the result in terms of a number or a graph most of the time. For instance, if I type one plus one and hit enter, you see that the result is reflected back. And at the same time, you will notice that in the work space that I will going to talk about in a minute, another activity is just taking place. Something with the name of ANS is created and its value is now two. Back to command window, let's do another calculation. If I say three plus four, and hit enter, you'll notice that the result is now seven and here the ANS is seven as well. What's going on here is the fact that ANS stands for answer. Therefore, answer is the default variable in MATLAB which holds the last calculation result. Therefore, if I do another calculation here, always the result is going to be stored in a variable here called ANS. To verify that, let's do 34 multiplied by 891. Hit enter and as you see the result will be updated to the last calculation. On the right hand side the workspace is a place that holds the list of variables. I just explained the answer but I would like to show you that if I introduce another variable here like a equals 2 and don't worry if, if you don't know how to introduce variables into MATLAB there is a separate chapter and video about it and I'm going to explain that in future videos. In this part, I'm going to clear the part by a very simple example. Therefore, if I type a equals two, which means put the value of a equals to two and hit enter, you will notice that the answer is not changed, but a new variable is created. The reason is that here we're no longer dependent on the answer, but we also introduce a new variable called a. If I introduce another one with the b, then you see that another variable is also created. Therefore, the workspace is a place where we can see the list of the variables we have introduced. As, as we progress through the course and we learn how to program with MATLAB, there are gonna be programs we write that contain more than 10 or even more variables here. And it is very useful that we can see the list of variables at a glance. Below the workspace, is a command history. This is also a very, very useful part. Command history basically is a place where the MATLAB keeps a record of our activities. And as you notice, it is time stamped. Therefore, whatever activity that I'm going to perform today is going to be recorded. As you notice, these are the activities that I just performed. If you come back here tomorrow, another time and date stamp will be created and is going to record everything we're gonna do. It is very handy because sometimes you wanna do a calculation again and you need to find it very fast, especially if it is the if it is among the last ones you perform. And it is very handy because if I'm interested to do this multiplication again, if I find it, the only thing I need to do is to double click on it and it will be calculated again. On the left hand side, there is a current folder. The current folder is a private and dedicated folder for MATLAB that records all the calculations and programs that we saved there. And I'm going to explain how we're going to save our programs in a future video. If you notice, there is a toolbar up there that if I click on it, it will give me some path I can select. And basically what it does is giving MATLAB the selection of the option to choose the output folder and where we can do the calculations. So basically what it does is it will give us the ability to choose the path MATLAB is going to work. And I suggest you that you keep it as the default, which for me it is in document folder in MATLAB. Above that, you will notice that we do have a standard toolbar along with some new ones which are specifically designed for MATLAB. I will going to brief you about each one of these throughout the course. Of course, there are some of those that we don't use, but I will make sure that I will explain the most important ones. If you look closely, you will see that there are three tabs up here. The first one is home, the second one is plots, 
and the third one is apps. The plots is a handy bar that will give us the option to choose which form of output we're interested. For example, in one specific example, when you calculated the result, you might like to have the histogram of the output as well. So just by one click, you can find it. Or sometimes you're interested in finding the pi diagram of a problem. Absolutely no difference. But most of the time, we're going to use the plot, which is the simple form of graph we use. The apps part is very interesting. You can look at them pretty much as as the apps you install on your smartphone or tablet. So there are pre-written apps, which most of them are for general purpose. But if you come here and click there, you will find that there are a lot of special apps written for any specific major. For example, the biology, there are many items available and there are very interesting ones here as well. As an instance, there is a code generation app that what it does is when we write a workable code in MATLAB, then it enables you to translate that code into C or C++ language seamlessly. And it is actually the process that is used in many engineering firms because MATLAB has a lot of functions, has a lot of pre-built functions. What engineers normally do is to use the amazing capabilities of the software to come up with the fun with the desired results and then optimize it. And finally, they will translate this into MATLAB code. C in then translate the code into C or C++. There are of course many curve fitting and optimization tools available.